For this video, we're going to focus on comparing decimals. But before we jump into decimals, let's review how to compare numbers in general. So let's start with these two. As you can see, we have 465 and 496. Remember, when we're comparing whole numbers, we start on the left side. So we look and compare. Oh, that's a little big. Let's see if we can make that smaller. We look and compare our hundreds place first. That's as big as we get. We have a four in the hundreds there and a four in the hundreds there. Can't really compare that because they're equal. So let's move on to the next place value. We've got a six in the tens place and a nine in the tens place. Those are not equal, so we can go ahead and compare here. Between the six and the nine, we know that the nine is bigger, so we're gonna put a less than symbol. Remember, we read this as 465 is less than 496. Remember that the open side of the symbol goes towards the larger number. Let's try one more. We're gonna start with the hundreds place again. We've got an eight in the hundreds place here and an eight in the hundreds place here, so we know they're equal. So we move on to the tens place. We've got a six in the tens place here and a six in the tens place here. So they're equal. We move to the right again. For this one, we've got a five in the ones place and a four in the ones place. We know that to compare a five and a four, a five is bigger. So we're gonna put a greater than symbol. That lets me know that 865 is greater than 864. Now that we've reviewed, let's start with decimals. Our first one says six and 254 thousandths compared to five and 248 thousandths. So just like you start on the left side with the whole numbers, we're gonna start on the left side here as well. As you can see, when we compare our whole numbers, in the ones place we have a six here, and in the ones place we have a five here. This means that this six is already bigger than our five. So we know that it is a greater than symbol. For this problem, we didn't even have to jump into the decimal places because we knew that six as a whole number is bigger than our five as a whole number. Let's move on. Nine and 345 thousandths compared to nine and 248 thousandths. So let's look at our ones place first. We have a nine in our ones place and a nine in our ones place. They're the same. Now we take a step to the right. We have a three in our tenths place and a two in our tenths place. We knew, we know that a three is bigger than a two. So your nine and 345 thousandths is greater than your nine and 248 thousandths. Let's move on to the next one. We have 12 and 249 thousandths compared to 12 and 295 thousandths. So let's take a look. We see that we have a one in our tens place and a one in our tens place. Let's move on. Two in our ones place, two in our ones place. Let's keep moving on. We have a two in our, in our tenths place and a two in our tenths place again. So let's keep moving on. We have a four in our hundredths place and a nine in our hundredths place. This tells us that the nine is bigger. So the four is less than. So 12 and 249 thousandths is less than 12 and 295 thousandths. Let's do one more together before you get some practice in. Oh, two more together, sorry. We have 56 and 367 thousandths compared to 56 and 368 thousandths. So let's look at our tens place first. We have a five here and a five here. Those are equal. Ones place, we have a six and a six. Those are equal. Tenths place, we have a three and a three. Those are equal. In the hundredths place, we have a six and a six, still equal. But in the thousandths place, we have a seven and an eight. We know that our seven is less than our eight, so we know that 56 and 367 thousandths is less than 56 and 368 thousandths. One last problem before you get some practice in. Let's compare four and 245 thousandths with four and 245 thousandths. You might have noticed something there, but we're still gonna analyze it. Let's look at our ones place. We have a four and a four, those are equal. We have a two in our tenths and a two in our tenths, those are equal. We have our four in our hundredths and a four in our hundredths, those are equal. And we have a five in our thousandths and a five in our thousandths. 
This tells me that this number is equal. So we're going to go ahead and put our equal sign. Go ahead and get some practice in, and then we'll be back with some more tricky problems to make sure that you understand some of the more complicated ways to compare decimals.